It's my first time at a slumber party, and Mandy's birthday party was super fun. But now it's night time, and everyone is asleep. I can't get to sleep, because I've never slept away from home before. Everyone else has been snoozing for hours, but I'm still awake. I really have to go to the bathroom, but I'm terrified of leaving the security of my blanket and my friends, so I just lay here, waiting. Waiting for the sun to rise and chase my fears away. My eyes are pinned on the clock directly in front of me on the wall. I can't understand what it says, but the small hand is pointing at the three, and the big hand is pointing at the five. My eyes are getting really fuzzy, but I struggle to stay awake and focused. I train my eyes on the window. The curtains are open just enough to see a light far in the distance outside. The light starts flickering, so I look for something else to watch. On Randy's dresser sits a homemade doll that is staring at the clock with its creepy button eyes. There's nothing else to look at, so I train my eyes at the clock again. None of the hands have moved even the tiniest bit. My eyes aren't fuzzy anymore, so I look around again. The light outside isn't there anymore, it must have flickered out. I turn to Randy's doll. Its eyes are looking right at me. I can't look away. The doll's mouth forms into a sinister grin. You look scared, what's the matter? She says in a voice, not unlike Elmo's. It sends shivers racing down my spine. I roll over and tap Mandy's shoulder. Wake up! I shout, but she just lays there without moving a muscle. I clench my eyes shut hoping that it will all just go away. I hesitate, but I slowly open them and fix my gaze at the dresser where the evil doll was. Where is it? I immediately slam my eyes shut. There is something standing on top of my chest. I don't want to open my eyes again, but I can't help peeking. The button eyes of the doll are an inch away from mine. You look scared, what's the matter? I scream at the top of my lungs. Amy, what's wrong? Mandy matches my scream so I can hear her. You were dreaming, she says once I finally stop shouting. I look back at the dresser and the doll is staring at the clock again. Mandy's mom comes in and takes me to get a glass of milk from the kitchen. As I take a sip of milk, I look up at her disturbing button eyes and unnerving grin. You look scared, what's the matter? Ha 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 